Hi buddy, welcome back. I'm the Stretch Professor. Today we're doing another episode in our legendary Isabella campaign. Total War Warhammer 2. Alright, so I think I just ended it. We've already moved. I forgot to end the turn. We just kind of ended the episode there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in here. I think we just end turn. I already looked at all the diplomacy, techs, buildings. Let's do it. This is one of the most fast-paced campaigns I've played in a long time. Especially for a Vampire Counts campaign. I mean, Vampire Counts are pretty nice um, in general. Like, I think they have a pretty interesting early, mid, and late game. There's a lot of really cool landmark buildings that you kind of have to go out of your way to get. Like with a lot of factions, either you have landmark buildings near where you where you start, and it's a pretty easy campaign. Don't kill them. Case an ambush stance. God, I really hope they don't just outright murder him. Just weaken him a lot. Just like sack him. But don't take it. Don't burn it. Make him really weak so he'll confederate. Or he'll at least change his tune. Um. But, uh. Yeah, I like the pacing. Like, especially now that I, um, you know, brought them in as vassals, it's kind of a deterrent to keep some of these peripheral especially vampire counts, to kind of keep them at bay for a little bit. Um. That let me be ultra-aggressive. And the strategy with, like, all these vampires, I should have done corruption a little bit earlier. Max out corruption on them. I, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. You know, Dragon Bane Gym. Okay, it's pretty worthless. But yeah, it's pretty fast-paced. I had been doing a High Elf campaign, which was a lot of fun. And shout out to Simon for sponsoring that. If you would like to sponsor a campaign next that you want to see me play, just $20. I'll do 20 turns in it. Um, or 20 episodes, rather. So just email me if you're interested. We can talk about it. Okay, they are coming down here. So we're going to have to come down so. and deal with this. So, Sadie, this is probably not going to work out very well for you. Okay. Yeah, just, just stop what we're doing. And max out that corruption. I'm only getting 5% corruption plus 5%. I guess that's plus 5% per turn for 23 corruption. Okay, so they went ahead and siege me turn one just to delay this building, which is annoying, but... Whatever. Okay. Speak. Need to stop my replenishment. Kill them. I did enter a few units, but kill some skeletons. I really didn't want to manually fight that though. against Empire stuff. Okay, well, we've already done that. A little behind the times. That's all right. Some public order. I need to make sure that I have all of the uh, all my vampires decked out with stuff. So she really doesn't need augury that much. Hunger is at rank 8. I guess anyone... Is anyone rank 8 yet? Okay, she just hit rank 8. Okay, so some of them just hit it. Okay, so that's going to really kick the regeneration to high gear. Okay, so rank 7. What? Do we... Okay. Let's go for spread corruption again. Hunger. It says it's an ability, but remember, we don't actually have to micro that. It just happens. The regeneration happens, and then just recharges. Gives you extra vigor too, which is nice. Okay. Sure. Sure. 
just do a quick item check here. So we have grabbed a bunch of stuff, but I haven't really looked, at, looked into it. Okay, rest of spirits, campaigner. That's really, really nice. Add that in there. Very necessary on, like, this Mortal Empires map. Which can be, like, just ridiculously huge at times. I think everybody's got something. Talisman. I'm gonna throw that on my caster. Balda, yeah, Balda. Throw a little protection on her. Ruby Rain. Okay, sweet. So, we've got a lot of public order going on here. go directly down there, like, right now. Isabella. I think we just dash down. Well, if we dash down there, then they're going to, uh, we'll probably put a bunch of public order in the place, right? How much public order are we adding right now? Military presence is nine. Okay. Descendant of the Let's just get as close as possible down here. I didn't realize that adds an extra five Empire corruption to the province. Cranking out so lack of corruption is nine right now, and it's at almost 50%. I guess it's almost 40%. It stays so high for so long. It's like, I think you have to get to 70 to get it even. Trade gain, bold. Okay. Alright, so that's all good. Oberheim. Tier 1. What do we want? Growth. That's good. Pit. This place we have. The grapes. Can't trade with anybody, though. Okay, Ungrim, kick his butt, but don't delete him. Please. Please, Sir Dwarf. Okay, looks good to me. We could upgrade Eshin once again. It's kind of in a hot zone, so... I'm not really interested in that. Do you take me the There's no way to siege in that before I can get back over there. Same thing with Waldenhof. I think we're pretty protected in most places. If they step onto that property, they're going to... Gonna take a ton of attrition unless they um, take a ton of attrition unless they walk very slowly in like um, raid stance. Uh, okay, killed Templehoff. Did he win that fight? I think he lost it. For real? Wait, how the hell did he... Oh, hold on. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? This is why I didn't upgrade Eshin. So... He killed Templehoff. He's at war with Vampire Counts. He killed Templehoff. Then he sieged. So he was in their zone of control. Which means he can't move out. Then he sieged the town where Vampire Counts were. Broke his siege. So that he got to get outside of the zone of control. Ran past them. And attacked Eshin. Without attacking Manfred. troll as hell. Now what's up with these uh, slayers? They have some weird icons. It looks like they're more yellow than usual. Okay, so they deal... Slayers have been upgraded, I think, in this game. 
30 versus large. They still deal 63 damage, though. 50 melee attack. Uh, not much piercing damage. A little bit. 50 melee attack, 30 defense. But they have um, zero armor and the equivalent of a bronze shield. They did get some extra physical resistance. They didn't used to have anything, but now they get a little bit of physical resistance. That might be because of his trait. I can't remember. Seed of Rebirth is annoying. And dwarves are 30% resistant to magic. Usually they're 25%, but he might... Uh, does he have a special... I guess he has a special item. What is this? Ancestral Death Blow. Okay, so once he gets below 50%, he starts really cranking. I mean, we should just be able to surround and kill him. I, think. I mean, we can beat him eventually. I think we can beat that squad. We just have to keep our... Um, keep our bar guys away from the Slayers, like, 100%. Okay, alright, you guys got it, you trolled, you win. You will get yours soon enough, though, don't worry about that. Okay, so now they just took, they're gonna take a ton of attrition. What are they doing? Oh, they're taking it. Okay. So they did a sack and occupy on us, huh? Oh, that's their, oh my god, this is so troll. This is so troll. So they took it, so now Manfred is probably going to take it back from him, and then he's going to have two properties in my area, which is going to make it a lot harder to hold my area. I mean, I guess I really wasn't doing much with that property, but, like, they're trying to game me for potentially bringing Manfred back to try to game them a little bit. This is cute. So they're trying to basically hand this property off to Manfred so that I can't have it unless I declare war with Manfred. And then that way I can't get Manfred as a legendary lord. I'm not sure if they're going that far down the rabbit hole, but that's certainly what it seems like. Boy, you better step off my property. I guess we do have military access, to be fair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Oh, he's fighting them. That seems really weird. Why'd the rebellion not go for my town? We're getting some weird stuff up in here. Up in here! <laughs> Wife is singing some DMX over there. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my cool. I think DMX is like a preacher now. I think he I think he literally either lost all of his possessions, like all of his money, or just gave it up and became like a preacher. I mean good for him, I guess. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like MC Hammer, but like Preacher instead of whatever Hammer's doing. <laughs> it's always crazy to me how you can have that much money and lose it all. It's like... I don't know. It's just like... Yeah. <laughs> Get your hook tab. annoying so even though they took the town it still get 15% provincial instability here so that's annoying to deal with because 
We were just starting to get relatively positive. Who's what? You want to kick somebody out of the house? Rory? I don't know. So it's Rory then. <laughs> no way. I'll take Sigma's throne. I think it's Rory, man. Look. She's just a baby. That's right. <laughs> I don't like this line of reasoning. Okay, we can get the uh, Banshees without um, having to get this, I think. And then eventually we can go to the Karen Wraiths. So do we want to go to this? Karen Wraiths would be pretty dang good against dwarfs, I think. They don't have magical... Well, actually, no, we deal magical damage. So it would, the magical damage would actually be reduced. Oh, God, I just thought of something. All the vampires do magic damage. Of course they do. God. Uh, <laughs> so it's all going to get reduced by 25% because of the dwarves. Dwarves are so annoying. How tough are these? Raise Sigma! I think that's their legendary ward. I'm not entirely sure. Sigma forbids this. Okay, so what do I want to do then? So Banshees aren't going to be amazing against them, but they are amazing because they have stimulate growth and mobility. And usually they're pretty strong. What is this? Tomb screen. Breath attack every 75 seconds causes moderate damage, weak against armor, and on contact people get leadership, melee attack, and melee defense. Wow. I didn't think they needed much buffs. I mean, they aren't that strong in the base game. They're, they're okay. You just kind of get them for you know, like their utility, but okay, that's cool. So, we can't get to, I mean, Vargolves would be fantastic. I really want to get some Vargolves, but can't get those until tier 4. So, we're left with the option of, um, how to take down dwarves. I mean, historically, it's been a combination of Graveguard and um, Crypt Horrors. But we don't have Fort Oberstar, but we're going to get Fort Oberstar soon. I don't know. I guess we get Spirit Well first. Just so we can get some Banshees on the board. Maybe. And then... We can get rid of the growth building if we really need to. Or hell, just get rid of this wood building. I don't know. 100 income is 100 income. But we're probably not trading with anyone anytime soon. We could get rid of that and save it for later. Save it for tier 4. And then grab... Um, start building this up. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. So that's like 7,000 to get to this. And we can get some more Crypt Horrors. I just don't know how they're classified. The problem with the Crypt Horrors is, like, if they're classified the same as Vargeist, which is entirely possible, perhaps probable, then we're going to keep our Vargeist because there's such a high... Um, there's such a high rank right now. Hey, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, like, rank 9. So you don't get a ton of bonus. I mean, you get some bonus melee attack, melee defense, and leadership. So you don't get that much crazy stuff. But I think we got to stick with them. However, we also get a crack at Graveguard, which in theory could potentially be um, special units, which means I might be able to get six of those. I mean, it could be nothing at all, and then I can just, like, field a whole stack of them, but I suspect they're probably special units, and these are pretty good against um, dwarves, because they have similar armor, and they have a lot of armor-piercing damage. They get a bonus versus infantry of 10, so they're going to have more melee attack, a little bit less melee defense, but they're undead, so we're going to be able to regenerate them, heal them up, buff them up, and they can definitely hold the line better than zombies, although they are more expensive than zombies. 
Um, if we're going to need a really long fight, they are good for that. So we'd get two cracks at it. We'd either be able to do Crypt Horrors, which if somehow these are special units, that would be a miracle. I doubt it. If they're rare units, which I also doubt that, we could get two of them. Um, I think those are our best options. I really, I mean, Black Knights don't seem to count as anything. Oftentimes, low tier Cav doesn't count. Um, we could try to level this up and grab some Black Knights. That would give us a Corpse Cart, which is very, very nice. The 10 melee attack and defense is a big deal. That would apply to vampires and all of the zombies. It does nothing by itself, but it does give us a corpse card. I think the uh, vampire, or the necromancer, when does he get it? Like level 8 or something? 10. So we have a little ways to go on that. So we wouldn't be able to get Cairn Wraith if we go that route. The Cairn Wraiths are really bad against dwarves. I mean, the piercing is good, but the magic damage is bad. So in general, Cairn Wraiths are very strong against most factions, but not worse. This would delay our Banshee by a little bit if we do this, and this is an expensive route to take. Do both of those require... Damn, they both require Ancient Armory. Ugh. But we could get a Corpse Cart immediately, so we would have something powerful we could get in, well, three turns. What's going to be better, these Black Knights or Grave Guard against Dwarves? In a Siege, 100% it's going to be the Grave Guard. But we don't get the Banshee Hero. We could get two Banshee Heroes. Which, once again, not amazing, but especially with this debuff, could be handy. Um, and the increased mobility is very, very nice. I mean, this is quick. That's just 4,000 gold, and we get that in three turns. So we could grab this. Maybe get rid of this. Grab that. I mean, maybe the Cairn Rites are better than I think they are. Even against dwarves, because the dwarves are not going to kill them. Like, dwarves don't have magical attacks, so they're going to hold the line like more than anything else I can throw out there, most likely. So maybe they do eventually just beat them down. The dwarves are going to do no damage, and I can just heal them through it. I think, okay, I'm going to go with this. Just because I'll immediately get Banshees, and then eventually I could get rid of this Wood Shack. It's only getting us 100 per turn, which is nice, but not entirely necessary. And part of that is because these zombies are pretty much free. I mean, dwarves aren't going to kill these guys either, most likely. So I'll get that for just the... Um, but do we hold on to this is the question, or do we just go ahead and grab Ancient Armory? Tier 3 unit. We don't need a Tier 4 Ancient Armory. What is this? Well, it does give Blood Warriors. It, it gives some pretty good stuff. Ancient Armory. So we probably need to put the Ancient Armory here. can't hire any more of our guys though, right? Uh, well, maybe we can. Hold on. Isn't there like a stance or something that allows you? Recruitment rank, local recruitment capacity. I thought there was something crazy that like gave us one extra recruitment. Does she? I mean, sorry, I know this is taking a second here. We'll get into a fight in a minute. This is just kind of an important moment. So I need to be able to fight these dwarves very soon. Crypt horrors. I thought something was going to give us more Vargas. They're like plus one to all. Okay, yeah, right there. But that's going to be one, two, three turns away. Oh. That's actually really nice. They can't run from me. So they get minus 15% movement range just for me being in the province. That's awesome. Usually it's just a town that does that. They have to be in like your town, but this can be in their province too. I like that. That's strong as hell too. 
Okay, we'll do that. We'll just grab the Banshees for now. What do they have over here? So they have a Cemetery and a Defiled Cairn. Okay, so if we grab that, we could potentially go ahead and keep these buildings. And then we build off of that. Okay, I think that's, I think that's fine. I don't want to drop all my money in case they come over here and start going hardcore. I need to hire an army. Okay, so let's get, get down here and kill this. And then we'll go kill them. Get him, Isabella. Okay, yeah, just get out of here. Twelve extra power reserve for five turns. We need that. Six hundred gold. That's a pretty cheap gold return. So one to take the town, one to run over there, one to fight him. I think we can get over there in just a handful of turns. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually take this. Oh, Gleaming Pendant. More leadership. Uh, Posner. Valda. Okay, put that on Valda. Let's go ahead and take Oh wow, everybody got some black cats. That's what I'm talking about. Do these also have magic find chance? <laughs> no. They don't have every good skill in the game. Okay. So he's a rank 12. Mm, could get uncanny presence. Dark Shepherd, I believe, is where we want to be, though, because I do want to get to. Hiring an extra Vargulf, or Vargeist. So I believe we want Dark Shepherd. We don't need to hire a bunch of stuff right now. And this is fine. Yeah, Dark Shepherd is sounding good to me. Okay. We don't have that much more movement. I guess we might as well. Oh, he got to run? No. Oh. He didn't go to hostile with me. He ran from that other guy. Okay. So this. Master of the Dead. Probably just magical reserves here. Oh, he has um, magic item drop chance. Okay, that's actually kind of handy. Maybe we should just get all necromancers. <laughs> Don't stack quite as well. Because he's terrible in combat. I think this magical reserves. I mean, I know Wind of Death is insane, but it's... <laughs> Purple Sun, though, like, it's hard to imagine. I mean, this is stronger than Purple Sun, I think, and you can aim it as a wind spell, so it is good, but Purple Sun, it's like 400 kills, and it's like, you know, 20% less cost. And he doesn't have mastery, though, so he doesn't get the 25% off like Isabella does. I just want to do magical reserves. Let's start with. Eventually, we will transition and try to get magical reserves on everybody, which would be awesome. We're gonna have so much, uh, so much magic, like 300 wins of magic or something. Okay, hunger, but that's like really late game. Okay, and then I guess we just sit here and hit him next turn at Fort Oberstar. There's going to be a rebellion in, what, two turns over here? Yeah, we don't have the Balefire, and there's more local resistance from the this. Empire. Uh, I mean, we might have to just let this go, and we can come back and revisit it later. Because we have to come over here and take care of business with these dwarves. This place is starting to stabilize, the moot is starting to stabilize. Oberheim's going to come back over here. Once they take this, though, they'll come over to the moot next turn and probably try to take that. Could be a problem. We could put walls there. Probably, maybe before that happens. I don't know. So 
that'll buy us one a couple extra turns. Okay. We gotta take care of business over here though. Got some Drakenhoff. Level that up. Hey Godflad, you better not play with me. This night. Welcome to my realm. Let no man say I mean this little social experiment's interesting, but Darkness. If he doesn't Speak confederate now, soon. Then go. Or my so uh, we're gonna have a problem. Now I may not have to if he takes out Kara Katrine here, I may not have to go mess with them, and then I can just go kill these guys in that nice. case. Okay. Uh, I think we what else? These guys kinda like us. Wanna throw us some money? You are cool, Quay, you are cool. I mean, Talibi Clan could come back over and try to get rowdy. I mean, we do have a lot of really good lords right now. We don't really need Manfred. I just want him because it's cool. It's lore wise. You know, it's Manfred. I don't, you know, it's my boy. I like Manfred, but if you don't want to play ball, I might have to knock him out. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep the wood stuff for now because when I take Fort Oberstire, um, it's going to come with some pre-made buildings there that we saw, which are the two that I was thinking of getting before. So maybe that means I should put the armory in instead of the, um, the wood. But I'm going to hold on for a few turns because we're not going to need that armory until we're simultaneously upgrading those buildings to Tier 3. Otherwise, the armory is just going to sit there because I'm not going to hire anything. I mean, I guess the Karen race could be a reason to get the armory uh, if I wanted to hire a bunch of those right now but like I said I want to have a little liquidity here I want to have a little flexibility just to kind of adapt to situations that might happen um, you know if Tabelheim comes in with an army up top I would like to be able to hire a lord Tempt me not dwarf my patience grows short why why is this man speaking for me what is this Okay, whatever. Come get it. So yeah, the thing is, Vlad is not getting into these wars with me anymore, which means I'm not going to gain that much leverage with him. Because he broke out of that last one. I mean, we could sling him a little more money. Is he not even fighting Karakadrine over there? Huh. Okay, so Vison One's also at war with me. Yeah, so this place is probably gonna fall. Oh damn it, I meant to cancel that last turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this place is this place is almost securable right now. It's getting there, at least in terms of uh, corruption, because we might have something to do with we have twenty corruption from our characters, <laughs> helping that out a little bit. But, um, okay, let's go just knock this out. It should be walking park, I think, right? What? He just finished? Oh, dude, is, is he up? It doesn't have walls, though. Man, is it going to make me fight that? I really don't. I'm going to trash that crap. Okay, give me a zombie. Caricadrine. Caricadrine's at war with us, so they're not going to pay for that. What are these guys doing? They're just chilling? Never. These, these guys have a little, like, a uh, little peace agreement here, or what? Like, why aren't they killing each other? Waldenhof is wide open. What? I know those dwarves can take Waldenhof. Aye. I think there's some collusion going on here. I smell some collusion. Okay. Yeah, I'm declaring war on you. Breaking a treaty with them. They broke the treaty with me. What are y'all... What? When did I bring them back into the game? Was it less than 10 turns ago? I don't have a treaty with them. They broke it with me. They chose not to go to war. I 
mean, I guess I don't have to take them right now. I just kind of want to before they get more units. Fine. I don't, because that will reflect badly with Vlad. You're safe this time by the hair of your shaky politics. Don't stand there like some startled sheep. Deliver thy message, lamb, so I may consider a response. I haven't given any gifts to him lately. Okay, bro, look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sling you some money because you're poor, okay? Very good. Look, just come over here to my side. Just join up, bro. He is at war with Zephar, right? So if I start murdering Zephar. Okay, good. All right. Now maybe I don't have to come over here. It's annoying. Do we have a... Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to hold this. I don't think. I mean, maybe... So far it's chilling, but they are powering up, too. Like, I do not want two 20 stacks of dwarves coming at me. Direct Ramar. Doesn't have a lot. I have some units. There's a chance I could come over here, kill this, and then run back over here. Hammy. Oh. will dominate. No. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this. Do we need to build anything else? We got walls around everything important. I don't, I don't think these guys are going to mess. Let's see. Wow. We just we got from like 2,000 something gold to 1,000. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Are you saying she would rather have her cookies than come in here and see me? We call them cookies. It's these, uh, like, what you'd call them, granola things that my wife uh, prepares for her. Okay, so they are, my wife says they are shaped like cookies, but they are canned pumpkin, peanut butter, and oats. And sometimes she puts caramel chips on them. So they're kind of relatively healthy. Like breakfast snacks. Okay, so now they did send an army up there to go deal with that, which is annoying. So we might have to bring out a second lord up there. And raise dead, just like I was talking about. Just why I saved some money. Try to protect work bad. This is, like, why it's hard to expand out early, because you do need multiple armies. Um, but that military alliance is kind of <laughs> falling through. It was holding for a little bit, but... We are getting some uh, corruption on the books here, though. Probably gonna need a second lord here. Okay, what kind of six eighteen stack? Bad. Uh, I don't know what kind of stuff we can hire. What do they have? Virtually nothing. 
Good job, dear. Hunger. Okay. Anyone else creeping on us? No. So we could just straight burn it. I would like to hold it though. If we get one more blood kiss. Then we might just sack it. Or we could just occupy it. And then just let some rebels take it. It might be vampires that take it, but it might be dwarf rebels that take it as well. And then they'll hold it for us so we don't have to repopulate it later. But then the dwarves proper won't have it. So I might just... Um, like I said, it could be vampires that burn it anyways, but... I can also just let rebels have it. I think it'll be dwarf rebels. Shed their blood. If we sack, I don't think we're going to be able to occupy. So I would like having the extra cash, but at the same time. I, I don't want the dwarves to own it. I want it to fall out of dwarf hands. So I think we're just going to loot and occupy, sell the buildings, and then just let a rebellion take it over. Annihilate them. So that's one of the few places where I actually like loot and occupy is if you can't hold it, but you also don't want the enemy to hold it, and you don't want to burn it because you might eventually want to come back and get it. It's kind of convoluted, but... So we could get Uncanny Presence. There's nothing good to raise here. Um... I, I, do, I would like that extra Vargeist, though. And that's post-battle loot, and the enemy movement range thing is handy. So that's good. We could get a Hell Steed. I really don't care about that Steed, though, honestly. Like, it's nice for sieges, but I can just climb up the siege towers, too. Good job, Rory. Uh, no. Eight melee attack for... Hello! Hello. <laughs> I like how she just randomly says hello. Nice. Eight leadership. There's some good stuff coming up. Some really good stuff. Minus 10% for Vargeists. It's going to be fantastic if I get some more of those. All right, so we'll just do carrion swarms. Okay. Here. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Oh, Rory, where'd you go? Where's Rory? Where'd Rory go? Rory, where are you? Rory? Where's Rory? Rory, where'd you go? Rory? Rory? Oh! I actually did not know where she was. I thought she was behind the uh, wall over there. Yeah. I said she was on your left. Okay, well I thought you meant your left over there. Your left. Your left. <laughs> so she actually did creep up on me. You're sneaky, aren't you, Rory? She's like, Dad, I'm right here. I'm not even trying to hide. <laughs> You're just delirious. Okay, Dark Benediction. Uh, extra eight leaderships. Okay, we'll, we'll stick with that. I do want to get more corruption. Though. That's all right. I sit down where I want to sit down. Yeah, we don't get anything good out of this. I'm just going to burn. Just sell this. Can't downgrade towns, so... Just leave it there, and then... There. So hopefully, Vlad likes that. He does. 
Greetings. Gotta kill the people he actually now has. Can they hold this? Can they hit this Never. next turn? They can't hit it next turn. So we could hire... If we want to try to hold this, we could hire this or... This guy costs gold. We could at least see what he can do. We know she's got some pretty good stuff. I don't know what he does. What is the theme around him again? Puppet Master. I assume he's going to be immortal also. So we could throw him in there. We could also throw Vlad in there. I think these guys are going to be better than Vlad. They're cheaper. I mean, she's free, though. I know she's got good stuff, so maybe we just take her. Um, so we could take her. What can we, can we even hire anything here? I know we can raise dead. Uh, okay, that will actually allow us to hire Crypt Ghouls, which are pretty nice I'm kind of on the expensive side 18 units though I mean how many do we have here? I can't get one of these until later so we're gonna have it's pretty junk Eight. so if we pop in we can hire we can have that lord. We're gonna have walls. No. Maybe eight of them. And then Lord would be nine. If we could hire three ghouls, that'd be twelve. And then raise dead on like maybe three more. So we can get up to like a fifteen stack or something. We have walls and a vampire. But here's the thing. Like, what's the value of doing that? So, yeah, I can hire a lord, and I can hire all this crap for probably, like, 4,000 gold. But how much does it take to, like, build up a tier 2 town that's got this thing which has almost no benefit other than public order right now? You know? It's like, is the 4,000 gold even worth protecting that property? Probably not, honestly. I mean... I don't, the thing is, I don't have to send her up there, and it would hurt the public order for 15 turns. So I guess it would quagmire me where I can't really move. I would have to go up there and just protect it, which would slow down my progress with the dwarves. Do you take me for a wazik? Do you take Are you going over there now? Alright, bye. Love you. Do you want to hang out with so. her sister? Rory's cousin. Okay. Dude, Tabelheim's getting sieged. Why are you coming after me, bro? Maybe they would be deterred. Plus two leadership. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this guy and just see what he's all about. Just see if he's worth hiring later. It's 944. God, we're gonna get this gonna cost a lot of money. We do eventually have to come out, come back and deal with Oberheim also. Let's see what he's all about. Okay, so 65, 56. Okay, so a little stronger than your average bear. 96 armor with a silver shield, which I think is better than... Surely these vampires don't have that shield, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's got some slightly better combat stats. He has a silver shield. Vlad might have a shield. Can't remember. Confident. I need to put that grave digger on my other people. Okay, he's immortal as well. So he can get on uh, Zombie Dragon. Uh, okay, so heroes and lords get 18% physical resist. That's a while. It's 10. Cattle herder. <laughs> Love the flavor there. Okay. 
Savanian Crossbowman plus one. I just see Dark Pact, Grave Ward, okay. Fell Nest, Forest Chain Buildings, cost. That's actually pretty sweet. Free Fell Bats, okay. Dire Wolves, Brooding Horrors. Um, recruitment duration for Vargeist. Okay, one turn. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, upkeep minus 40% for Vargeist. I think that's a deal. Um, free Vortex for three. Oh, it's only good against flying units, though. Man, they went all out on this free LC. You don't even have to pay for this. I've got, all, like, four different types of unique wards. I mean, most of the tree is the same, but this is kind of cool, like, this stuff up here. Okay, Hunger, Devastating Charge, Lightning Strike, Uncanny Presence, all this stuff. Still, that's a pretty good old deal. Normal Magic. Oh, whoa, 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 no. We've got Flock of Doom. Okay. What are we missing instead of Flock of Doom? What in the heck? What is usually there? Oh, the, um the gaze thing the one that's pretty bad in single player and then I've got transformation of this okay usually this gives you a um, uh, manticore but this summons a vargulf wow that's actually pretty sweet okay they even created like new spells and everything for this like this transformation of caught on that's pretty cool Maybe SFO did that, Steel Faith, I'm not sure. I don't remember everything that she did. I feel like she's stronger until he gets the zombie dragon. Once he gets the zombie dragon, he's probably stronger, but This better be important. Okay, how much can we recruit over here? I will alone. Oh, these are expensive. It's a waste of four thousand gold if I hire him and then he doesn't come over here. I cannot. It is right. Yeah, I mean we could just raise up a pretty good army if he steps back over here. Actually raising up is even more expensive. That's eleven twenty-four. It's not much more expensive though. I guess for the opportunity cost of just seeing what he's going to do, if he's actually going to attack me. I'm not sure if I can raise if he's sieging or not. We'll take a look. Okay, so we'll just wait on it and see if he comes over. He might go back home and try to defend his town. How many armies does he have? He's probably got two armies. With that kind of red bar. Okay, so that's looking all good. We can cancel... Dragon Hoff upgrade if we want. We're about to get a couple of Banshees here. It's going to be sweet. Can't mess with any of this stuff yet. Still not sure if I should have hired him or not. Maybe putting up some token resistance just long enough to uh, try to hurt these dwarves is probably worth. Oh, this place is rebellion next turn anyway, so we might as well. Okay. Yeah, Verland's gonna go after Oberheim. Oh, I should have, damn it, I should have deconstructed that building. Demolished it. I say deconstruct and automatically think of like, uh, Derrida. Okay, so he's still just raiding over there for now. Are y'all gonna step down, huh? Hmm. Okay, 
so they're gonna raid. And we don't have lightning strike with her yet, but we we'll siege it on turn one. like dark benediction um Let us talk. Like ultra corrupt, twenty two. So we got baleful rituals. Yeah, and then spread the coven. Be nice. Now. Getting to grave guard stuff eventually could be pretty good. That's for Black Knights also. Alright. Let's see how that place is going down. Wow. So we could. We can't quite dash in Swartz off, and I don't want to pay 10% extra off the dash. Or 5% extra. Oh, unit capacity, plus one for all units. Oh, that's interesting. So we can go one over the cap. That's actually pretty powerful. Uh, so this guy's just raiding right now. So we kind of are holding him off a little bit. Okay, let's make sure everybody has all the stuff they can get. That's let's do okay. Throw that down. Blast. Magic missile. Okay, can sh okay, so she can't have that. Let's put that on him. I'm already watching him for casting. I'm already microing him. Yeah, I think on everybody else, all the stuff is out there. Yeah. Isabella von Karstein. So, is it worth it to get the extra? Hunt pay 180 gold in order to get a few more steps closer to this area. Well, they could actually attack me. They could attack with this army and then dash and attack with that army. So, it's actually pretty important that. Nah. Well, that lowers his range by 50%. So, yeah, I think he would be able to attack. If I dash, though, I can get within Swartzhofen uh, reinforcement range. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it that way. Let's just dash, get as close as we can to here. Countess of Sylvania. Okay. So we got that. Yeah. That's going down the down the pipe soon. Yeah, I should have demolished that when I had the chance. This place is okay. It's still costing me a lot per turn to hire him, but one more turn we've got that. I think we can hire two banshees now. Yes. Uh one banshee. Oh, come on. Increase the maximum number available. Binding Circle, Lodestone, and Font of Nightmares. I think that's all part of the same tree, right?
Okay, so that gives plus one and then extra. This gives plus one for Banshee. So if you build up to this, you get the plus one. So here you don't get the plus one. And then that's for hero recruit rank plus three for Banshees. And still plus one. So you get plus three off of that and then plus four off of that. So you get plus seven on your Banshees. But we need to go ahead and get them going. I mean, they always cause terror. What is this? That's such a troll trait. Confident. Plus two leadership per one. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw one in there. I mean, it's better than a zombie. We'll get a huge discount on him when we put him in the army. Oh, I thought I said right here. Okay, so what all do they have? Increased mobility is huge. Stimulate growth is very nice. Damage walls can actually be pretty good in the right circumstances. Uh, and then the rest of this stuff's kind of whatever. But you need it for the mobility and the stimulate growth, I think. And oh, what is this? Oh, removes immune to psychology. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, so now everybody can be feared and terrified. That's pretty, that's quite a lot of utility. That's really nice. Okay, so we've got that. Need anything else here? Check in with Javon Karsten. Greetings. Now stand before. Y'all just got a little pact going on here. Just chilling. Are they building up Eshin. Like, are they putting in? No, they're not really building anything there. Just hanging out. Okay. I think that ward is probably scaring this army off. It's possible this army wouldn't be there anyways, but with that ward, they might be scared to try to siege me. Okay, still just chilling. So yeah, I, I am paying a thousand gold a turn to hold on to that, which is not really worth in the short term, but for the long term, like, I'm still developing corruption there. Okay, looks like the dwarves backed up for now. I could come through here and just sweep this stuff. My clan. Yeah, there's some rangers. Pretty good. A bunch of quarrelers with great weapons. Decent little critters. So I could hit them, but they're gonna run. So I'm not running all the way up here to deal with this, though. Not likely. Couple no options. Way. So I just give Overheim this. The problem is, if I do that, then they're gonna come over and hit the move like next turn, you know. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get this going so that we can put walls here and upgrade this Balefire. Hmm. So I think what's gonna happen is if I come over here, they're gonna retreat. And then they're gonna attack me next turn. I think that's how it's gonna go down. I will not disgrace my ancestors. My Schwarzhoffen already has the walls. Okay, and they got freaking walls over there now, didn't they? Yeah, of course they did. Uh, 
darkness comes. I had to clear one of these clowns yet or what? There are possibilities here, yes. But first, we must negotiate. Yeah, the possibility is you're gonna die as soon as that penalty's gone. Okay, so we just give him Oberheim then. Am I at war with border fences? I don't think so. Not yet. Descendant of Batori. Try to go into ambush. Are there any ambush is 51% chance. 76. So I could go right here and go into ambush stance and just see what they do, see if they try to come at me. That give any extra? No. Is this an extra stuff? I will not disgrace my ancestors. I have no time for this. Okay, there's a big garrison too. Countess mm. of Survival. Not sure if this strategy is going to work in this time. Really need to try to get the uh, graveyard. Okay, so we gotta leave this alone, I believe. If we get one more level, we should be able to hire one more Vargle for Vargeist, which would be fantastic. Uh, if we go into this stance. I think we can hire one more bar, guys. What do these guys do? Poison, a little bit of extra stuff. I mean, could grab them. They're on the expensive side for what they are. Okay, so we could go into ambush here. Let's see if we can trick some of the dwarves into coming out. Just kind of wait and see with Averheim. If they don't go for it, we could come up here and try to take Eshin. They don't want to play ball. We have to be over here to deal with a uh, rebellion soon. Um. How much does this go up? 250 for 4,000 gold. Right, I guess. I don't know, man. What's this? Plus 10 movement range. Okay. Enemy hero and raised dead cost is down. Okay, okay. It's all right. Not amazing. It's okay. Like, I really need to get some graveyard. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. We'll figure it out next time. I think what I'm going to do is step over here, see if I can get an ambush on them. Uh, so we should have a good ambush chance. Bait them over here. I know I was saying I'm probably not going to ambush that much, but there are some like cases where we need to do that. This guy could go hostile and attack us if he wants to. This guy is costing us a lot of gold, but it is keeping them at bay for now. Corruption's still going up over here a little bit. We'll figure it out next time. So, anyways, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.